I had to take last Saturday off because of the food coma from Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Friend Ever. Being a little bit facetious here in the intro, not have to take it off because of a food coma. I actually went on vacation with my family and I thought we'd give us a little bit of break for the holidays, for Thanksgiving, just to spend time with our family and enjoy the beach and the views. It was incredible. So thank you for allowing me to skip a week of Friend Ever, even though you are right here in my heart. I thought of you guys the whole time I was watching the sunset from my ocean view balcony. Moving on. Today we're doing another thought experiment and you might say, Danielle, where is your hat? Where is your thinking cap? That's a great question. I don't know. It's somewhere around here and uh, I'll make sure to find it for the next thought experiment video, but let us not have any more delay and let's jump right into it. <sighs> if you've seen our previous thought experiment videos, you know that we go directly out of the source. We pull it straight from the Know Yourself journal, which incidentally, and I don't want to just plug stuff all the time because that's not what this channel is. Yes, we do produce tools for you guys to use, but we're not just trying to plug and sell all the time. But given that we are discussing it right now, New Year's is approaching. If you want to get a new jump on the year, getting to know yourself, 365 prompts to see you through every day of the next year to get to know yourself. Prompt 250. Of your social circle, of the people that you spend the most frequent time with, you would consider your social circle, who would you take into battle with you? Who would you take into battle with you? That is a little bit of an antiquated phrase, right? Like, oh, I want that warrior to go into battle with me because he is a mighty man and I know he'll have my back when the enemy approaches. We don't have battles anymore. Uh, we're not all signing up to be in the infantry and carry on some crusade, but the, the concept is still there. So like, first you need to define what are your battles. Do you struggle with an addiction? Do you struggle in certain situations, social situations? Everyone's battles are unique to them. And so before you can even say, oh, I would have this person go to battle with me, figure out what your battles are first because not every warrior is for every battle. But if we're looking at the heart of the matter, my siblings are both in law school. What is it? The spirit, the spirit of the law, right? You're you're not just like doing the face value, whatever, the spirit of the law. What is it saying? The spirit of this question is saying, who do you trust to have your back in situations where you need a companion and you need someone to help you? So we use the warrior and battle example, right? To, sh to really say that who is someone that's going to be loyal to you, that's not going to talk about you, that's not going to tear you down, that's not going to purposely cause you to stumble. Who are the people in your circle or who is the person, it might be just be one, that you hang out with that you would trust with the most important things in your life. The sad part is, is you might get to this point in the video, pause it and think through that stuff and think, wow, there is nobody that I hang out with that fits that description. And I genuinely would like to say that I am sorry. I'm sorry that you find yourself in that situation. My advice would be go back through some of the old friend ever videos and learn what it is to make new friends or to strengthen the relationships that you have. Because every video that we've done to this point, it's over 75, I think we're almost at 80 videos. All of them are geared toward helping you be a better friend, but you're a better person friend, and to strengthen the friendships that you have. Build new friendships, strengthen the ones you have, make yourself a better person. So I'm sorry if you find yourself in a situation where you don't think that you have anybody who can take into battle with you, but make that a goal for 2023. How can you improve? What is something that you can work on to be a better friend? And are you someone who someone would want to take into battle with them? That's a whole nother video and we will talk about it one day, but today is not that day. I hope you're all having an amazing kickoff to your holiday season. Christmas is right around the corner. We just had our awesome Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Small Business Day sale on Friendever. Thank you so much to all of you who participated. It really helps to grow Friendever when we have support like that. But if you can't buy a devotional or buy a journal or buy a sweatshirt, that is fine. I do not fault you for that. But one thing that you can do to help us grow is to share this channel. Like this video, share it with a friend, share. If they're not like, oh, I don't, I don't subscribe on YouTube or whatever, then share the Instagram with them. Let's grow this community and let's be the best that we can be because friendship is a journey, it's an endeavor, and I will see you next time on Friend Ever.